Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Ruchi to Learn. Today I am going to teach you cash flow statement with adjustments. As promised in my earlier video, I was going to make the highest demanded video. So this is the one. Let's start. We'll understand what are the adjustments with respect to cash flow statement. Okay. To understand accounting standard 4 theory, you can refer my earlier video on accounting standard 4. Now I am going to teach you problem solving approach. See it is difficult for me to solve a whole problem which considers all the adjustments. So therefore I am just teaching you all the adjustments and then you have to solve it yourself. If still you have any issue, you can surely contact me in my comment box or in my social media or in my email id which I have mentioned in my channel. Okay, Let's start. First of all we will understand how to approach the question. See. You are asked in the question to prepare cash flow statement. You will be given balance sheet plus profit and loss account plus some adjustments. Okay. Balance sheet will be given of two years. For example, 2016 and 2017. Okay. And profit and loss account will be of the current period. This is a normal sum which I am speaking about. And there are few adjustments. Sometimes the question is without adjustment. So you have to make assumptions and solve the problem. Okay. So let's understand what are the type of adjustments which come in cash flow statement. See, for solving the cash flow statement sum, first of all, your step one should be draw your cash flow statement format, which I taught you in the earlier lecture. Okay. Second, now if you have a question in front of you, take that question, take the balance sheet of that question, okay? In that you will find liabilities and asset side and there will be two years given, maybe 16, 17 or whatever years will be there in the question, okay? So how to approach each and every item of cash flow? First, the first item which is there in the balance sheet is share capital, right? In 2000, this is just an example. In 2016 and 2017, the share capital was 1,40,000 and 1,00,000. What does that mean? Pichle Saal, share capital was 1,40,000. Today, my share capital is 1,00,000. That means there is a decrease in share capital of rupees 40,000. Understood? This is your step one. What you are supposed to do? Take the balance sheet, compare the two years and find out the effect. This column should be filled. This is your working note and not your final answer. So you can do it in your mind. You can do it in the near the question also. It is completely your wish. Okay. First find out the effect of all the questions. Okay. All the items. For example, if... In 2016, share capital was 1 lakh and if in 2017, it was 1 lakh 40. That means 40,000 has increased. Okay. So what will be the effect now in the cash flow statement? What does increase and decrease in share capital mean? See, what is share capital? It is investment made by some of the shareholders in your company. If the share capital in the company is decreased, that means that the company has paid back the shares, right? So that is what outflow, okay? So it will be a financing activity and it will be deducted. Why it is a financing activity? I need not teach you the basics. You can refer the earlier video. Why it is classified as financial activity? Because it is related to finance of the company. Okay. Next. If it is an increase in cash flow, increase in the share capital, that means someone has invested. That is why your share capital has increased. They have invested. That means cash has come in your company. That is why the sign will be plus. And it is a financing activity. So you have to write it in financing activity head. Okay. Understood. Very simple. Please don't mess it. Next. Second is loan. Secured loan. This is one of the example. Loan can be in the form of debentures, bonds, anything which is there after the share capital. Okay. Which is long term liability. 
So if there is an increase means from 10,000 it has increased to 20,000 there is an increase of 10,000 and if there is a decrease of 10,000 what will be the effect? What does increase in loan mean? That someone has given you the loan. See, ideally in 2016, I had 10,000 loan. Now I have 20,000 loan. That means someone gave me 10,000 again, which I have to pay them back in future. So I got the money. That is why it is inflow. So you have to add it. In other hand, if there is a decrease, that means I was supposed to pay 20,000 in 2016. Now I am supposed to pay only 10,000. That means I have paid the difference that is 10,000 amount to my creditor, long term creditor that is from whom I have taken the loan. Okay. So that will be a negative activity that is cash outflow and obviously it is a financing activity. So it will go under financing head. Okay. It is very, very simple. Please. Keep a note and I suggest you to write this down so that you can refer it one day before the exam also. Okay. Next. Current liabilities. Now if you remember the format which I had taught you. Current liabilities and current assets are under operating activities. That is change in working capital. There is a head in operating activities where we write change in working capital. Right. So the current assets and current liabilities will be shown there. I had taught you there that for current liabilities follow the sign of effect. That means if there is an increase then add it. If there is a decrease then deduct it. In case of current liabilities. And in case of current assets follow the opposite sign. Add if it is effect. If, sorry, if the effect is increase, then deduct it. If the effect is decrease, then add it. Okay? It is very easy. Just one point to remember where some students make mistake. Current assets will not include cash and cash equivalent. Why? Because that is what we are finding. What is cash flow statement? It is finding the increase and decrease effect of cash. Right. So what is your final answer? It is change in the cash. So this change in cash and cash equivalent and in liabilities bank OD. This change should be your final answer. That means the sum of financing activity, investing activity and operating activity should be the change in cash and cash equivalent and change in bank or draft. Okay. Understood. So one important point to note is that do not include uh, cash and cash equivalent while calculating this current assets for operating activities. Okay. Okay friends, now let's continue with the balance sheet related adjustments. We had already analyzed balance sheet liability side that is share capital, loan and current liabilities. And from asset side we have analyzed current assets. Okay, now what is left? Investments, investments in the asset sides. If there is an increase. See what I taught you in current assets. That follow opposite sign. Same applies for other assets also. So if there is a positive sign that is increase in investments. That means you have invested in some securities. That means your money has gone out. That is why it will be minus. And it is an investment activity. So it will go in investing activity. Okay. And if there is a decrease, then obviously follow opposite sign. That means that you have sold those investments and that is why you have reduced your investments in balance sheet. Right. So that will be a positive sign and in investment activity. Okay. Next. Fixed assets. Same principle. If there is an increase. 
See from 2 lakh it has gone to 3 lakh. That means 1 lakh has increased. That means if your fixed assets have increased. That means you have invested in fixed assets. Your money has gone out. We are learning cash flow statement. So our cash has flown out. That is why it is negative. If there is a decrease that means your cash has flown in. Because you have sold that asset. So that will be positive. And it will be an investment activity. Okay. It is very easy. So please note them down. And I hope you get good marks in this. Last. Preliminary expenses. Now this is a very important. Very very important adjustment. See. Mostly there is no change in preliminary expenses. So you need not worry. But if. If you are damn lucky. You will get this adjustment. See, if there is an increase in preliminary expense. What is preliminary expense? I think you must be knowing. If you watch my videos, I have explained it so many times. What are preliminary expenses? The expenses which are done at the beginning of the business. For financing the business. For starting the business. For example, for issuing debentures you give discount on issue of debentures which you write off over the years so it is considered as preliminary expense it is incurred once in lifetime and then it is written off over the years as it cannot be charged at once in the pnl right so these preliminary expense if they increase that means you have incurred some expenses with respect to financing that is why it will go to financing activity and because preliminary expenses go to the asset side it will follow opposite sign so because of increase it will go minus okay next if there is a decrease in preliminary expense that means it is getting written off from the books what is writing off from the books See, 5000 was the preliminary expense in your asset side. Just like fixed assets, you write it off. So it is fictitious. It is not actually paid to someone. Le bhai preliminary expense le. Aisa hum kisi ko nahi bolte, right? It is incurred at the beginning and it is written off over the years. So it is fictitious. That is why you have to add it to the operating expenses. Why you have to add it to operating expenses? Because while calculating operating expenses, you start with net profit. In net profit, you have already deducted that preliminary expenses. To reverse the effect of already deducted preliminary expenses, you have to add it back. Okay. If you don't understand the logic, it's okay. Follow opposite sign. Minus ka plus. Plus ka minus. Just remember that this is financing and plus is operating activity. Okay. These are all the adjustments of balance sheet items. So what I suggest to you. While starting a cash flow uh, sum. First draw format. Then give effects to these items first. Because this is, it, they are very very easy. For PNL you may be confused a little bit. So it's better you post these. You can easily score marks. Okay. In next lecture, I'll teach you how to give effects to PNL items. Okay? Thank you.